Well, there have been a number of hypotheses along the way, and there have been a few things that have been tried, but none of them have really been verified at the level of randomized controlled trials to get penetrance. So there, certain trials have been done with certain steroid medications and other things, and some of those in, in the trials actually had side effects. So the, the newest uh, uh, therapy represents going back to this premise that bile acid, here in Urso it being a bile acid, the bile acid based therapy has the high potential of being successful. So what could be another bile acid based therapy. And therein lies the most advanced of the studies because it has now been shown that in human beings a specific bile acid is a signaling event to turn on the genes in a cell. And it does it by signaling through the cell, turning on a special receptor that goes and tells the, the nucleus to turn on different DNA segments and that particular nuclear receptor is called FXR. And so we know bile acids are the stimulant of FXR, but now they've been able to modify a bile acid so that it will stimulate a hundredfold greater than just the bile acids that each of us as humans have in our body right now. And so that development led to this modified bile acid called obectacolic acid, or OCA for short. And that's been the subject of two phase two trials and a pivotal phase three trial, uh, which has shown benefit against an endpoint, which is similar to the analyses I already mentioned from the national databases, fall of AL, AL, uh, alkaline phosphatase and a normalization of bilirubin. And that kind of composite endpoint was then studied as the goal or endpoint of the study in that subgroup of patients that did not show a benefit on URSO alone. And this therefore, this phase three trial was an add-on. People stayed on URSO. Whatever benefit they were getting, they were allowed to keep. And on top of that came this FXR agonist property of the abectocolic acid. And that showed uh, that it's a statistically significant benefit in the group of patients that were not being benefited solely by the ursodeoxycholic acid. Now because this is a rare disease and has maybe in the United States, some estimates may go from anywhere from 200 to 600,000 sufferers in a population of 320 million uh, people we know that doing studies is very difficult. You can't do study after study in a randomized controlled fashion. You just don't have the access to the patient population. So this study, the largest of, of in, in history, is really a milestone study, both for its design and, and its outcome. But the questions are, that are still not answered are when you achieve the endpoints that we knew from these national databases led to this great longevity with a reduction of all the liver-related events, if you achieve that with a new drug, does it have the same meaning going forward? Is it a surrogate endpoint that you can say once you've achieved it, we expect 5, 10, and 20 years from now that things will go well? And of course, you could do that by analyzing 5, 10, or 20 years from now, but in a rare disease, that's not really appropriate. What we want to have is a verification that that endpoint is meaningful. And that's why there is now an ongoing enrolling phase 3B study, a commitment to the FDA in the process of the validation of that endpoint uh, that has been used in the pivotal trial of bactericolic acid. And that's looking at a group same, similar, not responding to ursodeoxycholic acid, but not all comers now. It's looking at a group with a little bit more advanced disease people in more need, if you will, of an additional therapy to turn the tide, but also a group, because they're more advanced, in which over a shorter period of time, estimated from four to eight years by just estimates, they may see the positive benefit of a good response because they were deteriorated in their disease process uh, far enough that that you'll see it in a shorter period of time rather than ask for 5, 10, 25 year follow up. So that's the mechanism that's uh, being used right now to uh, follow the phase three pivotal trial, 
to the FDA and their advisory uh, committees and to have the commitment of an enrolling phase 3B trial to serve as a verification of the endpoint of the original trial.